Hello everyone and welcome! A few weeks back, I did a review of a 12 volt jump starter and battery bank, which is a perfectly good starter and battery bank, nothing wrong with that unit. But when I came across the Fantic T8 Apex jump starter with 2000 amps of jump starting power, I just had to have this beast. I always like to share with you guys the latest, most innovative products that I come across, so I had to get this bad boy to review it for you. If you're not familiar with Fantic, they're a very innovative company that will take an existing idea and take it to the next level. About a year ago, I did a review of their cordless screwdriver and I was very impressed with their product design and attention to detail. I'll put a link up to that review in the corner so you can see it later. So when I heard about their latest product, the T8 Apex Jump Starter, I was very interested to try out this new jump starter and battery bank. So let's unbox this bad boy and see what we get. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce a new product review video or DIY video. Alright, so let's see what we have here. This is the Fantic T8 Apex Jump Starter. This is a shot of the box for you. And let's pull it out of here and see what we get. And it comes in a nice little container. Let me open this up, bring you right back. All right, so when you get rid of the packaging and stuff like that, this is what you get, a very nice container to keep everything organized and safely enclosed inside. Now, normally I take everything out, which I'll do in a moment, but I wanted to start off by showing you what I like about Fantic and their attention to detail. First of all, a nice container, very well made, nice kind of a plastic uh, composite material that puts everything together. Even the zipper, you can tell, is very different. Let me get a shot of that zipper for you. You can see how the zipper seals itself to keep water and you know dust and dirt and stuff from intruding. I'm not saying it's 100% waterproof, but that is one way that it keeps it a little bit more secure. A different kind of a zipper, not your standard plastic zipper that just closes it for you. This seals it up very nicely. So let me open it up and I'll show you what I mean about attention to detail. And this is one of the things that I like about Fantic. I mean, look at the container. Everything is nicely put inside a nice formed box container here, like a plastic material. It's not foam. It's like a plastic, so it won't go bad on you. And it is formed to the shape of the unit. You have a nice container here for the two USBs that come with it with a nice little net to keep it all contained inside there. And over here, it's all enclosed. It keeps it from rattling around. While most companies would just give you a little zipper container and everything's rattling around inside, here you see nothing really falls out. You undo this part and then you get some adapters in here and a nice molded area for your jumper cables. So you know, again, they're not gonna be rattling around. You're not gonna have to fight to get them in here. Everything is shaped to take whatever belongs in its place. So let me pull all this out and we'll go over the unit. And here you have it. This is the Fantec T8 Apex Jump Starter and Battery Bank, available on their website, link in description below. And at the making of this video, this item retails for $119, but they always have discounts available, so check out their website and see if you can get it even lower than that. And this item comes with a two-year warranty, and this is everything that you get when you unbox it. Now you get the owner's manual, which comes in a lot of different languages and has a lot of information inside about the specs of the unit, how to use it, safety, etc. I suggest you read through that. And when you look at the unit itself, this is everything you get. You get the jumper cables, you get the unit itself, you get a 12 volt adapter, you get a 120 adapter for your wall outlet, and you get two USB cables. One is a standard USB A to USB C adapter, and the other one is a USB C to USB C adapter. So you can use them for both charging the unit and for powering out whatever other units you need to charge with it because it does have both ports available, USB-A and USB-C, which I'll show you in a moment. And before I continue, let me just point out, this is what I mean about attention to detail. While most companies would have put a zip tie or a wire tie on there or something like that, Fantic actually puts a nice little uh, strap to it. I mean, this is more expensive. They put a nice little strap with their name on it, and this strap stays on the unit. It does not come off. It is stuck on the unit itself, and it's molded to it. So you know you can always just close it back up, put it back together, and you'll keep it nice and neat as long as you have it. 
For people like me that like attention to detail in their products, this is what I like about Fantic. Anyway, so this is a very compact unit. The dimensions on this are only 9.2 inches by 3.7 inches by 1.83 inches in thickness. Very compact. And it only weighs 2.2 pounds, which is very, very lightweight. Easy to use. Anybody should be able to use this without any trouble whatsoever. Now, the unit itself has a very sleek, modern design with a 2.8 LED info screen built into the unit. Now, where most units would just have simple LED lights lighting up indicating what's going on with the unit, Fantic goes the extra mile. Let me turn this on for you, and you'll see right there a nice LED display that tells you everything that's going on with the unit. Now, this is obviously 81% charged up. I'm going to charge it up fully before I do any testing. The unit is powered by a 4-core 20,000 milliamp battery with 2,000 amps for jump starting. That's huge. The unit can perform up to 40 jump starts when fully charged. And when the unit is fully charged, it should hold its power for up to 24 months. So you can leave it up to two years and still have power in the unit itself. The operating temperature of this unit is from 14 degrees Fahrenheit to 131 degrees Fahrenheit. So whether it's the deepest of winter or the hottest of summers, you should be able to use this unit to power up your peripherals or jumpstart your car, no problem whatsoever. And it is IP65 dust and waterproof, as you saw by how snug the Kadia plugs are on the side here, covering up any of the openings to it. The unit is very secure, and you should have no problem with dust or water intrusion. And the unit is a full fast charger. In other words, from zero to 100%, you should be able to charge it up in one and a half hours. So even when it's fully drained, you can get back going in no time at all. Another benefit that it has is that if the unit is drained and you need to jumpstart your car for an emergency, only five minutes of charging the unit, you should be able to get a jumpstart going out of it. So five minutes of charging will get you one full jumpstart, no trouble at all. The unit promises to be able to jumpstart up to an 8.5 liter gas engine or a 6 liter diesel engine. That is huge. I don't know if you can find any engines bigger than that. And this unit can take care of it for you. The unit has 10 built-in safety features to prevent damage to the unit and to the vehicle being jump-started. It has short circuit protection, reverse polarity protection, overheating protection, and several more. That means that your car will not be damaged and the unit will not be damaged in any way. It has a built-in flashlight with 400 lumens of power with three modes, regular flashlight, SOS signal, and red signal for emergency use. How to use it, it's built in right here on the side of the unit, and you turn the unit on first, and then you press the button on the side, and there you have your flashlight right there, your SOS mode, and then your red emergency blinker for using on the side of the road. So very convenient indeed. The unit has USB-C input and output, and it also has a USB-A for output. So on the USB-C side, you can output power to peripherals that will need or charge up with 5 volts, 9 volts, 12 volts, 15 volts, or 20 volts. On the USB-A, or your standard USB charger, it'll put out power for 5 volts, 9 volts, or 12 volts. The unit is an intelligent unit, which will put out whatever power is demanded by the peripheral you're trying to charge. So whether it's your smartphone, laptop, tablet, whatever device you need, it'll give it whatever power it requires. So let me charge this unit fully and let's do some testing. All right, guys, so before I fully charge this up and do any kind of jump starting, let's see how it charges up your peripherals like my phone right here. So let me turn on the unit. And there you go, starts up. And this uses the old-fashioned micro USB, so I have it hooked up to the USB-A right here. Let's plug it in and see what it can do. And there you go. It starts charging up right away. So that's not a problem right there. Even for an old-fashioned phone like this, it charges up without any problems. So let's go do something else. 
Okay guys, so here we are in my truck and I'm gonna be using this to test the jump starter in just a moment. But in case you didn't watch the previous video where I tested the other jump starter, let me reiterate the problem that I'm having. The problem is that this battery is too old and has gotten worn out and it just doesn't wanna hold the proper voltage anymore for starting the car. Basically, if you jump start it and you get it cranked over, get it going for a little while, it may hold the voltage for maybe a day, two at the most, and generally after that, it drops down to around 10 volts. So you charge it up to about 12 and a half and then it'll just drop down to about 10 and a half somewhere around there which is not enough to crank over a v8 which is what this is this is a 318 magnum v8 so that's why i'm using this one as a test subject to be able to keep things consistent across the board we know how the other one performed we'll find out exactly how this one will perform right now eventually i'll replace this battery but not yet because i'm using it for testing a whole lot of equipment that i'm getting in within the next few weeks so i'm going to show you right now how it won't do anything i i started this vehicle a few days ago it's been sitting for a while i doubt it will do anything at all it has enough voltage to probably turn on the lights on the dash and maybe even the buzzer but that's about it old vehicle got to put keys in no push button you can hear the buzzer it's making noise at 10 volts, that's about all you're going to get. Probably will not start. Nothing, as you can see. So let's go to the front, let's hook it up, and let's see what we can do. Okay, guys, so here we are under the hood of the vehicle, and this is the battery in question that will not hold the charge. And as you can see by the purchase sticker right here, it was purchased in September of 2012, and I'm shooting this on August of 21. So that tells you this is a nine-year-old battery, and it has lasted exceedingly long. Most lead-acid batteries, generally four, five, six years around there, they're dead. They won't do anything else. So this has been an excellent battery to me. I've really gotten my money's worth out of it. But right now, it actually works perfectly as a test subject for all these different tests that I'm doing with jump starters and stuff like that. So this vehicle, in case you didn't watch the previous video, uh, for the other jump starter, this vehicle is a 318 Dodge Magnum V8, so a 5.2 liter. So it's perfect for this kind of testing on this jump starter. So I have the jump starter all fully charged up 100%. I'm going to show you that right now, and I'm going to hook it up and see what it can do. So let me show you right here. Turn it on, and you can see right there in a moment, it is 100% fully charged up. So let me hook this up, and then we'll test it. Normally, I would say it is smart to have somebody stay out here and hold it for you, but since I am by myself, I really have no one I can help me, so I have to do it this way. Let me hook this up over here. Put that up right there. Okay, we are fully hooked up. I'm going to go inside, and I'm going to crank it over. Okay guys, there you have it. A review and demonstration of the T8 Apex jump starter and battery bank from Fantic. I think this is a beast of a jump starter. As you saw, it jump started my V8 Dodge Ram with no trouble at all. It has plenty of power to perform multiple jump starts. As you saw, it only consumed 1% of the battery power to turn over my 5.2 liter V8. It still has 99% battery capacity after doing that jump start. I think this is a great unit to carry around in the trunk of your car, truck, SUV, RV, etc. It has plenty of power to get your engine cranked over if the battery fails. It works as a flashlight and emergency beacon and has plenty of power for all your portable devices. This device also uses a USB-C for powering itself up, so you don't need to carry around any additional adapters to worry about. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.